What's up, Army? Welcome back to Redemption 46 Studios. I'm Nick. Man, as y'all see by the picture, as y'all seen by the thumbnail, y'all know exactly why y'all here. IU, Sugar, People Part 2. If this is your first time on the channel, I need you people to hit that subscribe button and become a real Redeemer today. If you're a real Army, man, for more content like this, jump on the Patreon. It's up on there today for Suge. Wanted to show Suge a lot of love. Um, all the new Stetchy Top episodes are up on there. Live performances, dance practices, Bon Voyage Season 3, In the Soup, Run BTS has been popping on there. Um, but like I said, wanted to show Suge a lot of love today. Um, you know, it's a big day. Bro gets to finally represent his country, go serve, gets to honor his family. Um, and, you know, I just I wanted to show him some love. I've been praying for him and you know, praying for everybody that's uh, like went in. Shout out to Jen. Shout out to Hope. Um, but you know, it's, it's today is about him. So I just wanted to show some YouTube love, show some Patreon love, and just do some uh, some shit content. Um, if y'all jump on the Patreon too, it's gonna be some interviews and some other stuff up on there today too from him. Um, this is IU People Part Two. Um, I remember this song being a banger. Um, so we can jump right into it.
Mm. Yeah, my you on tracks right here, everybody. She's so beautiful. And make sure y'all subscribe, man. It's a couple people y'all who've been chatting for like a very long time. Don't even know y'all not subscribed. All it does is it takes one second to support. And if you really want to support more, jump on the Patreon. Definitely doing some more should content. It's all up on there today. Um, outside of IU being extremely beautiful, her voice is also extremely beautiful. Um, I love how, first off, shout out to Suge. Um, as far as like even the singing stuff goes, I felt like he jumped all in on this. Um, just his inflections and just kind of like going all for it. Um, I mentioned that on another video that I, I like when people aren't apprehensive to like be all in when it comes to like vocals and everything. Some people who aren't, you know, traditionally singers at their base may be a little bit um, like, you know, held back when it comes to like belting and just kind of wanting to like engage into the track. Um, but it worked so well here. I felt like he, she was so like soft and like right on like a certain pitch that him kind of adding like the extra like punch layered the voices kind of just so perfect. Um, this is a dope track. I love, um, how can I word this? The traditional formula that this track is kind of centered on. Um, we talked about this, I think, on a few other videos that with the emergence of everybody being able to sing, it's killed a lot of duets. Um, so sometimes we don't traditionally get women singing on the track anymore while the guys rap because a lot of guys kind of are doing like their own singing. So they kind of just <laughs> supplemented that by just doing essentially the part that may have been just for like the, the female artists. Um, and, and some vice versa, where some girls will rap now and kind of eliminate the male part of everything. So you kind of don't get those duets, um, especially those, you know, it's been iconic duets since like the fucking, since like the 50s and the 60s. And especially within like R&B and other stuff too, like in the 90s and early 2000s. Um, you know, even pop duets where, you know, I, I, I want airplanes like with B.O.B. Um, you know what I mean? So... This feels nostalgic in the sense of that a little bit. Um, and, and obviously in K-pop, you know, that still happens. But I'm talking about more so for, like, Western music. Um, but with that being said, like, the track is just a banger. I feel like it's soothing. Um, it feels like the track makes it feel like it's raining outside almost. Like, that's kind of how therapeutic it almost is. It's almost like it's raining and, like, you're going to sleep almost. Um, very comforting music. Um, and just a vibe overall. As far as the live performance goes, um, I, I like everything that's kind of set up. I like all her artwork and stuff she had. I seen like on the one side she had like a J Hope thing. It was said like IU and J Hope and uh, with the with them jumping out of. It's funny. It looked like Pandora's box. They was jumping out of and stuff. Um, so I'm not sure if he was on the show prior to um, like Suge being there, and then obviously V would have been on the show afterwards. Um, but that was decent, man. Clearly, you know, they work well together. I know he's produced other tracks for her. I think the joint eight, if I'm not mistaken, and a couple other things else. I'm sorry if I just mixed her with another person. Um, but yeah, I like this a lot. Um, I'm not going to extremely long talk y'all just because most of my compliments would be kind of like very repetitive. Um, especially with my feelings towards like Suge. He's just a special human being outside of being an artist. Um, seeing his growth in singing and dancing has been phenomenal. Um, you know, I don't sometimes sometimes we're very transparent up here and people might take some comparison as like diminishing other people. But when it comes to BTS, especially when it comes to Suge. Trying to say that someone worked hard, I don't want to try to say that other people weren't working hard, but if I think about anybody who had to come from, like, ground level when it comes to dancing, obviously, you know, it's more so, like, RM, Jin, and Suge, um, but just seeing, like, the lengths that all of them have went, Suge in particular for this video, with dancing is just phenomenal. 
then look at the base for people who, you know, didn't have a singing background. You know, just using him as another example, if, it, if you know, his ground, he came in at ground level and, you know, now he's up here. You know, I would never lie to y'all and just be like, you know, I think Suge is singing like he's Luther Vandross or, you know, um, or anybody. But his ability to be able to know what tones he can hit, what inflections he can do and what makes him sound great on songs He's still phenomenal. Um, like he just he knows what works when it's time to make a song. Um, so you know, I just have a lot of respect for him just because of all the hard work he had to put in. And mind you, it wasn't just even building his craft with those. He still had to sharpen his tools as far as being a rapper, as far as being a writer and a producer. Um, just a, a genuine talent, man. It's just he's he's box office, man. It's it's getting to a very difficult point to it's like, you know, what can he do? You know, he can model. When it's time for them to act and stuff like on MVs and things, he's natural at that. Um, just so much natural talent and then just talent that he had to refine and work on. And, you know, he's just in a class all by himself when you talk about like the full package. Um, so, yeah, I hope I was able to explain that good. Um, you know, I love Suge. I'm, I prayed for him the other night uh, once I seen the news about him going into the Army and everything. I'm going to continue to pray for him. I'm going to also continue to support him and just, you know, stream his music, try to watch as much stuff as I can. Um, when I know when he comes back, he's going to come back just with a fury. And it's crazy because, you know, most of them could have took this opportunity to really rest. Like, you know, after they said they was on some, you know, chill shit and everything like that and then that they were going to do the albums... You know, he easily could have dropped his album, did a couple music videos, and then just chilled. He decided to do world tour. Um, and not only did a world tour, like, like killed that shit. Made some of the most money ever on a tour. Um, just him being able to pass that information on to other members who might want to decide to go on tour. Um, just him being able to kind of feel what it feels like to be on tour by yourself and bring that energy back to the group. You know, not only have all these guys left to get, you know, do the military stuff and also do solo stuff, I feel like when they come back, their powers are going to be quadrupled. And that only benefits more to the group because, you know, I left feeling like I wasn't able to do this or this at an elite level and I come back and now I can do it at an elite level. It's just going to be scary. When BTS comes back and they do their comeback, mark my words, y'all can clip this video if y'all want to, it is going to be the biggest comeback of all time. Not the biggest comeback in K-pop. It's going to be the biggest comeback of all time. It's going to be the fastest video ever to hit like a million views. It is going to be chaos. The streets are going to be on fire when they have a comeback. Um, but yeah, man, um, shout out to IU again. Um, beautiful voice and just anytime you know they get to pair up, Clearly, you know, they make magic. Um, shout out to y'all too, Redeemers. Y'all could have been anywhere in the world, and y'all decided to be here with me today. We appreciate all the love and support that you guys have been giving us. Just remember, you know, whether we ever disagree on anything or, you know, just not on the same page, it's all love. We're a family here, and family sometimes doesn't agree on the same things. But we're going to always do our best to be respectful and to make sure that, you know, that this is a safe place. So, you know, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Also, for more content like this, jump on the Patreon. Um, we got some, like I said, the Bon Voyage is up on there for season three in the soup. Run BTS. We don't consider ourselves just reactors on this channel. We consider ourselves analysts or YouTube specialists um, is what I like to call it nowadays. Uh, but you guys are going to be getting some more content like this coming soon. Next month is going to be crazy on here. I'm, I'm going to kind of just leave it at that. Um, other than that, Redeemers, we love you. We're going to holla at y'all. Peace. And hair grease. We don't deserve all this godliness.